We added a new feature in Flinto 2.2 called Repeat Action. To duplicate a layer, you can either option drag it or press Command D, which will duplicate it in place, and then you can drag the duplicate. All right, so here's how Repeat Action works. I'm going to option drag this layer and then press Command D, and that'll duplicate the layer and repeat the action that I, that I took after I first duplicated it. Let me do it again, but this time I want to place the duplicate really close to the original layer, but I can't place it exactly where I want because it's snapping to the layer. So I can nudge it around with a keyboard, and the repeat action feature will record whatever I've done up until I deselect the layer, so I can nudge it into place, get it exactly how I want it, and then duplicate it. All right, next, let me show you how the repeat action feature actually works with rotation as well. So if I duplicate the layer, and then rotate it a bit, and then continue duplicating it with Command D, it'll repeat the same rotation amount, so I can create an increasingly rotated copy. And in addition to position and rotation, it also works with opacity. So on this one, I'm going to duplicate the layer, and then lower the opacity a bit, and then I'll continue duplicating it, and you can see it repeats the action of lowering the opacity. So these all, all three of these properties can be used together. You can, you can move the layer, rotate it, and change its opacity, or independently. And this is all super useful whenever you need to create a list or quickly distribute um, just a repeated element, a series of buttons or photos or anything like that. Now let's have a little fun with this, see what we can do. I've got this teardrop shape and I've adjusted the origin. You can see that the origin, its default is 50-50, which is right in the middle, but you can adjust it. So I've adjusted it um, in the Y direction down off the bottom of the shape. So now when I rotate it, it rotates around that new origin. And I'm gonna type in the rotation value of 15 degrees because that's a multiple of 360. And now if I duplicate it until I have 24 of these, I'll get back to where I started and I have this cool flower shape. So that's kind of fun. It's even more fun when you animate it. So let me create a behavior around this. And I'm going to go into the behavior designer. And what I'm doing here is setting the same rotation for each layer in this new state so that they'll all animate back around to this uh, one position. And that looks kind of cool. Let me try also playing with the width and the path completion percent. And you can see you can get some really wild effects using these techniques. It's kind of fun. And again, back in the canvas, if I want to have a few of these, I can option drag this group to duplicate it and then press Command D to repeat that action. And now I've got three of them. So that's the repeat action feature, which is new in Flinto for Mac 2.2.